Guys, and welcome back to yet another game of Pyramid Head where we're going to be spawning in on the game. Now, I want to show you guys nobody played an offering for the map. That was just some really nice RNG. Looks like we've got a gamer underneath who just tapped the gen and let go. All right. Let's see if we can come over here. He could have went left. Looks like he didn't go left. Let's go to the right. Looks like he didn't go right. Looks like he waited on the corner. Actually, he did go right. Um, let's see what we're looking at here. He's not here. Is he waiting on the corner? Yes, he is. Hello. Okay. I think he might have had to go AFK. Uh, I'm not going to down a guy that has to go AFK like that. That's all right. Let's keep moving along. I was expecting him to use the pallet, hence I prepped my ability. I saw that scratch there. We see you running it towards us, which is nice. Sidestep, last sec. Oh, good move. Good move. That's a wall there. Man. We were ready to go for a shot, but we didn't need to. Alright, up the staircase. Pyramid Head cannot hit upstairs. Really weird movement. Hello. Alright, we're gonna leave her on the ground. We got a guy down there. We got this guy here, and the other guy was all the way by the shack. We know where every player is. Alright, had to just be a little bit patient with the shot and aim in front of her. Sprint burst. Good thing I didn't lunge. Nice and one. We'll break the pallet, we'll let go of Chase, we'll go up the staircase and we'll make another play. I saw a guy go up the staircase in the distance then. So he's got to be looking to pick his other teammate up. See if we can cut him off. Already got him. Both running together. Hide my light, twist at the last second. One went left, one went up. Let's chase this one. Oh, good play. Alright, just had to be a little bit patient on that. Tinkerer, I'm going to let that go. I'm going to come right across the board and get pressure towards this generator. Hopefully I make it a time. This door isn't closed. This is the guy that was AFK at the start of the game. Take our free hit on it. Tinkerer has huge regression at 0.6% per second. Down she goes. He'll come back in for his generator. I'll get a pallet out of him. Then we'll pick that one up. He didn't come back in yet. There he is. Not quick enough, I'm afraid, buddy. And down he goes as well because he greeted the other two guys are healing. And that's how powerful Ruin and Tinker is together. Just telling me where to go, when to go, letting go of chases. Now both these generators are regressing at 0.6% per second. I didn't overcommit. I left the one on the ground when I needed to. They decided to group heal because they're group healing. I'm getting regression on every generator available on the map right now. I'm also having two people hooked rather close together. I'm going to cut through the center, see what I see. Uh, oh, scratch is there. We saw the scratches. There you are, running past the totem. There's RM1. Oh, yep. She'll have to give me something now. No range add ons, but we just got the edge. You can see she's ran over for her generator, which is fine. I'm going to cage this one, and then I'm going to go towards the one that's on the generator. Looks like they've let go of it. Alright. One running through the middle, one running to the left-hand side. Let's chase the left. One running up. The other was through. Check on our gens. Our gens are still both regressing. Nice cage save. We're going to down this one. It's unfortunate, she should have waited on that cage save. We're going to pick this one up, we're going to put it right on the hook. That gives us two hooks right now and no chance of being decisive. Scratches came to the bottom. Nice, we got barbed wire effect. Scratches over here, two different players. Is he camping it? He is not. Good sidestep. I get the pallet though, and now I go apply pressure towards that other generator. Did he keep running? Yes, he did, trying to preserve it. Looked like I'm trying to cut him off, hide my light, twist at the last second. He just kept running. Good stuff. Send him one in the back. I saw movement up here, breaking a totem. Alright, got her through Hex Undying. 
Not gonna send her in the cage. We'll put her on the hook instead. Just use line of sight against her. Let's drop down. See what's going on. We got regression on this generator. I'm pretty sure that one's fully regressed. Hence it's glowing not white. Add is fully regressed. Let's go right through. Somebody was up there. Noted. Crying above me on the left. She hesitated. She shouldn't have hesitated. Gonna do the same shot. Good response time. Well done. She had sprint burst. Hence she got so much distance. Now she's exhausted. We'll cage her. No pallet there. Already checked. Okay, down she goes. She's now eliminated. I don't have to deal with DS if she has DS as well. If she gets hook saved, we've got one more shot on her. Let's come down here, apply pressure towards anyone I see. Boom, movement on the left. We're going to cut through at a right angle. Somebody yelling above me. Change of plans. Oh, you're going around. Nice. Got you to hesitate. Dead hard. No. Down she goes as well. This girl is actually out of the trial. Final judgment. I have been enjoying a lot of Pyramid Head recently, but keeping in mind that I do have a very good map for Pyramid Head. I mean, I have a, ma a good map for most killers. We see the barbed wire effect, good. If he drops it early, even better. Well done. I shouldn't have went for the shot, I got a little greedy, but at the same time, I have time. You know, one guy dead, five generators left. Not gonna take it. Dead hard, go. Good sidestep, buddy. Good sidestep. I got a little greedy. I feel like I could have landed that. That's fine. I'm gonna let go of Chase. It's not gonna favor me chasing him right now. We're gonna cut him off from a different angle. That was just me being a little bit too thirsty. We could have actually walked up and got that M1 through there. Aim wide because I expect somebody to run into it, just like that. Alright, two people down. Now, I'm going to follow this guy's scratches because he was here a couple of seconds ago. Should be able to get to the edge of him. Reckon he cuddled the wall. If I don't see scratches in the next five seconds, I'm going back. Don't see scratches? We're going back. Might have went upstairs. Can't hear him crying. Alright, let's pick one of these guys up. We do still have this hook here available. I reckon he's directly above me. Waiting on top of this. I reckon he's right above that. So I'm gonna go up and go around and check on that. Because that- Ooh, no, Scratch is here. Because that's exactly where I would be. He left some Scratches, which is gonna hurt him. Alright, let's see how he responds. The other guy is still down right now. Yeah, free pallet, nice and early. We'll take it. He's just going to look for the trade with his ally. He's played pretty well, but he has given me pallets first loot every loot. So even if I'm missing a shot or two, that's real good value for me. Yeah, I wasn't going to do it. I think your dead hard's still on cooldown. Okay, dead hard was still on cooldown. I'm going to be able to send him away too. He tried to go for one more loop and we were able to catch up to him pretty quick. Oh, the guy was last seen near the basement, so let's head over here too. Now he, it's a broken pallet. He could have crawled in. He could have crawled down. I don't hear him at all. We're going to check the basement. Oh, we hear crying on our left. There we go. All right, let's pick him up and take him down there. Now, unfortunately, there was a guy a little bit AFK at the start of the game, but we didn't take him out. We left him injured, and he went and worked on a generator. Realistically, I could have left him on the ground, but we didn't. We just took the one free hit, and we realized he was AFK. We let it go. Now, that game did go well for us. At the same time... The survivors did try and split pressure on generators, but the issue with that was they tried to split on a generator right beside the same generator. Rather than splitting on that and that up there, that would have been the right play. Doing two generators so close together, when I have a build that's going to allow me to proxy between the generators, is going to really hurt them at the end of the day. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. If you're watching this educational informative rank 5 Pyramid Head game, Rank Reset did just happen, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do educational informative DVD killer and survivor content over at Twitch if you guys want to tune into the live stream. Once again, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the fog in the next video. Have a good one.